Welcome to Oxbone, the techno magazine with Wolfgang Rudolf. Hello and welcome. Now don't get a shock. I don't want to do anything maths or things like that. I've got all my old books out, and when I see what I had to learn years ago, and what I probably could do, and all these notices in there, no, that's not the reason. I want to talk to you today about pressure storing. What is pressure? First of all, I have brought a lot of heavy books with me. They are hard to understand anyway. And if I stack them on top of each other, everyone knows that we have a lot to pick up. And they exert a lot of pressure onto the surface beneath. I can feel that on my hand. At the top of the pile it is less. I don't feel much there. What do I want to say to you with this? There are things that are all around us, all the time and everywhere, that we don't see because the books, we can see them. They make pressure to the surface, to the table. That is obvious, everyone can see that, but what is with this here, air? We don't see it, we don't hear it, it is just there. Now you will probably say, no, oh, yes, air, that's different to books though, books are heavy, air not. Air is maybe a little bit lighter, but we have to think about one thing. The air, the air column to say, adds pressure to one square meter of the table is a bit bigger, but a meter times a meter. It presses with ten tons here onto the table. Ten tons, that is if you take an old VW Beetle, that's ten beetles stacked on top of each other on this table. Why doesn't the table break? Because the air from underneath has from on top pressed, and when I press from both sides, then it doesn't break. Glass, you can't crush that easily. That means the air pressure is there. How high is the air pressure? There are a lot of different measurements, scales. Today we'll count in hectopascal. On sea level with a normal pressure of 1013.25 hectopascal. Earlier we used millimeter, mercury, column to count. We counted with TOR, with ATM, ATA, atmospheric overpressure. Even today we count in different areas of the earth with different units. Water columns are used. Maybe you know that. At the doctor's years ago, when he measured your blood pressure, he even had a mercury pad and the mercury went up and he could read your blood pressure from it. Mercury is poisonous, we all know, and that it has been all prohibited. But it was always so, that we measured our pressure, wherever you are, at home, in the heating, the pressure has to be correct, or we have to add water, that the expandable vessel is pushed together, that the pressure goes up. A tire on a bike, we pump up, or we take our thumb and say, it's okay, okay for me. But for my friend, it's double my weight, not? So we pump a bit more in. Not a criticism. A car tire is too much pressure, the tire, tire rounds up and runs only in the middle. And your profile wears only in the middle. If there's too little pressure, then you wear your shoulders away. Because it is tipped more down. Okay, and you can always say, good, then they are run down quicker. But the safety by driving is totally impaired because we have to have the total surface of the road. Only a bit of it when we have less traction. There we have to measure exactly. And in many other areas, we have to be able to measure pressure. Air pressure, gas pressure and fluid pressure. How you do it and how a measuring instrument looks like and what sort of measuring areas these devices have so that you can measure, I've had a look at and I would like to show you these devices. From PC, the T-Hub HB38 I have here in my hand. It looks like a tube of mustard or something like that, but it's full of electronics. Let's start at the top. Here on this black top you have so lengthwise slits. If you look a bit inside, you can see circuit boards with sensors. In there it would be measured. What would be measured? For one, the air pressure and the temperature, they hang together. And this information 
are folded down in the casing there is the electronics which evaluates and when I turn it on now it takes a moment and then we come a display 52.1 that isn't the temperature that is the relative air humidity and down there the 26.1 that is the temperature here in the studio that's not all first of all the air humidity and the temperatures but it can always show much more now we can see that I have a selection menu and we already onto the barometer pressure and it has 990 hectopascal below it you can still see the temperature and this air pressure well it doesn't change that quickly it is relative stable even if over the day a maximum and minimum is it is influenced from the weather but I can switch further and you can see that here barometric the air humidity it as the dew point was showed at the bottom it was naturally calculated and I will let it go it shows the dew point which is calculated and so forth a small device which you can do everything with what you so measure and will this device you can in the house walk around or in the works and measure temperature and see what air pressure you have and it is handy easy and small and has a precise result for all areas of air pressure the temperature and the hair humidity and it is 0.1 by the whole respective values 0.1 celsius and 0.1 hectopascal and 0.1 percent relative air humidity so it is a handy device powered by four batteries for all sorts of uses so what have it yet for a block in hand it is very massive this piece that is a pressure sensor if you look here there's a thread and a little hole and with this I can measure pressure there where I want to measure it in the chemical area or by plastic working in any type of a system in the research and the such in all these places I can use a pressure sensor there are different sorts of pressure sensors this is thought to be up to 100 bar yes and by 100 bar we have a lot of pressure in it <laughs> the corresponding measurement instrument is the PCE 932 what I have here it is by the way attached with a socket so I can detach it and change it that can measure up to 400 bars with the corresponding sensor the display is very nice very big and clear the back lighting you can turn off if you want and I have have the possibility of totally different display types to change I can change it to bar or to water column or I can change it to what is that oh don't know that one PSI switching the, distil, the display itself I can switch to international things I need and now I'm back to hectopascal which is that what is for us it is the SE unit which is used the most if you look down here the operation is easy to use very good overview I also have the possibility to save everything it is all saved onto this memory card what is down here there's one supplied with you can use one up to 16 gigabyte and I can take the memory card out and onto the memory card it is saved in a calculated table format an XSL format you can read it with different programs like open source and you become good tables which you can see with the graphic program and they have an attachment for a power source now why a power source when I do long-term measurements I can set it to times from one second up to nine hours minus one second 
That is the maximal interval. And here I have a serial interface in lots of measuring facilities, research facilities, they still have serial interfaces. That means I can also attach the device over a serial interface. Here's the memory card in, it isn't delivered with the device, and when I put it in here, I have on the other side a USB connection, and I can attach it to the modern PC, and I can do a spreadsheet and evaluate it. Here I have from PC the PCE P05, the differential pressure gauge. Differential pressure is either I can measure the pressure in a system, the air pressure, or I can measure the difference of two pressures. And that goes with this. You have two attachments and I can attach tubes to these. So this measuring instrument can be integrated into a system. The tubes are supplied out with. Depending what you want to do with them, they would be stuck on top here when I turn it on. You may be surprised that the display is extreme bright and big and very good to read. And also here I have the possibility to use 11 different systems. If I want PSI or millibar or hectopascal, all that you can choose here. And I have the possibility to turn it on to record, that I can save the data I have from the device I can store up to 17,000 measuring points and these recorded data can be transferred over the built-in USB interface. It is here on the side. With the included cable to a computer, also evaluation software is delivered with the device and just play it onto the computer and it recognizes over the software the device and the data can then be transferred, the whole system with a power supply connection cable, with tubes and also a stable transport case, which withstands a shock and the device is also cushioned inside. And you can see is also there, this is something what is needed in laboratories and there where I want to watch over things. The measuring interval is from 1 second to 24 hours. You can always tell the device inside this time when it has to measure and to record. So a robust universal device to record differences, pressure in different systems from gases which are not flammable. So that was a little trip into pressure measuring instruments for gases like air and liquids. Very important in our lives. Lots of production roads we have to know how high the pressure is or is it too high before something happens. Many controls are totally reliant of them. We want to prove if the systems are okay we need measuring instruments. I hope the little insight you liked. I wish you a nice day and goodbye.